do a little bit of uh, video here. This is a great way to close out the aurora season, that's for sure. Look at that movement. She is just going. I just kept peeking my head out the window. <laughs> and uh, I definitely got a little rewarded. Okay. Now that she's dimmed down, and we still got get her on, so I'm going to keep a close watch. Let's see. So. To give me an orientation, uh, I'm not moving the camera yet. <laughs> but to give you an orientation, the aurora right now is primarily to uh, about the northwest west. There's no camera trickery. I'm trying to get this what I'm seeing so this is a as close as possible video to exact conditions that I'm seeing lighting wise okay so I am actively seeing the green I've been actively seeing the magentas it has been a phenomenal night now Here's where things get a little strange. Ah, I'm not going to move the camera. Actually, because she's starting to walk toward the north, let's go ahead and follow her. Okay, now she's happening pretty close to the north, okay? So let's get my old girl in frame for a second. Now there's no camera trickery. I'm playing this, like I said, to exact conditions that I'm seeing. And you see how it's light up on the horizon. Now, it is just past one in the morning here on the Dalton Highway. We're 95 miles north of the Arctic Circle. And this is something that people don't quite think about that we get a night and a day at the same time. Now that statement does not make logistical sense until you remember how our Earth is tilted. And so the North Pole has already lost its nighttime completely. And it's slowly walking toward Point Barrow up on the north end of Alaska. Which the new name for Barrow is Oktorvik. I believe I'm pronouncing that, pronouncing that right. Now, as that uh, day night equation keeps walking, It won't take too much longer before we do not even have 
the ability of seeing stars. The next few nights are kind of the last nights that you're able to see stars up here at Sukapak, which is why, well, one of the reasons, there's some personal reasons why I come up here, but uh, this is the reason why I traditionally close out the Aurora season this day, the 19th of April because we've lost too much of the night time. It's a very strange equation. Okay? I'm going to record toward the restroom. <laughs> I know that sounds bad, but don't worry, it's, it's a scenic restroom. <laughs> I told you it was a scenic restroom. The restroom is kind of underneath that band, but I'm going to more point it toward my truck here since we're getting the activity right there and lock her down. Except for... She is just playing all over the sky and Tonight's the night that I can't keep the camera still. Because now I've got Aurora back over top of Sukapak. The mountain Sukapak. Alright, I'm going to stop the recording and do a couple more still frames while I got this activity. I'll talk at you in a little bit.